Legalese. This is a big one. We have uh, this whole world of legalese and uh, people reference legalese, but they don't really know what it is. They just know that it's all gobbledygook strangeness. And uh, just like any area of expertise, they have their own dictionaries. And uh, if you look for it, there's a dictionary for accountants, there's a dictionary for um, uh, physicists, there's dictionaries for every specialty. And the purpose of a dictionary is to define a word that did not exist uh, prior to that specialty and it was created for that specialty, or it's used to redefine an existing word with a new meaning in that specialty. So again, if you go to the legal, uh, English dictionary, you'll find that many words have multiple meanings depending on their context in everyday uh, usage. Uh, and then you go to a law dictionary, you'll find out those everyday words have been given another meaning within the uh, legal process. And uh, sometimes they'll reference the everyday meanings, but they'll also add in these special legal meanings. So uh, keep in mind that the purpose of the dictionary is to uh, define a brand new word or to redefine an existing word. And these are the three main dictionaries that I use in Canada here. If you look at the red and white dictionary, Canadian Law Dictionary, it's uh, by Barron's, and uh, it is what I refer to as the Common Law Dictionary. It references and identifies words in such a way that uh, I believe it is the Common Law Dictionary from the perspective that everyday words that have not been redefined have their common and everyday meaning, therefore they are the everyday words in common law as well. What has happened in the civil law is they've taken our everyday words, redefined them, and then used them within their civil law without us knowing that they've been redefined. So, for instance, the word includes is not in the Canadian Law Dictionary, the red and white one. Why is it not in there? Two purposes to a dictionary? To create a new definition, well we all have heard about includes before, or to redefine it. Well, it's not in the Canadian Law Dictionary because common law has not redefined the word includes. The word includes in everyday English means to restrict, comprise, and that's everything. And uh, so it's not in the common law dictionary because common law uses the everyday definition of it. But the yellow one there, which your gold one, is uh, the Dictionary of Canadian Law by, by uh, Duclos. And there is a large version of it. This is the pocket size. And uh, if you look for the word includes in there, ooh, it shows up. What's the two purposes for a dictionary? To define a new word or to redefine an existing word. So within the gold dictionary there, they have redefined the word includes. Interestingly enough, it has three different dictionary definitions in law. The first definitionary means to expand the meaning of includes. The second dictionary definition means to restrict the definition of includes. And the third definition means to enlarge the definition of includes. My goodness, isn't that convenient? Two definitions to enlarge, one to restrict. Now the civil law dictionary has to apply to both the civil law and common law, so they've included the common law dic dictionary definition, but uh, or the everyday def definition, but it's been surrounded by two other definitions. So within civil law, they can go either way depending on how they feel as to what the definition of the word includes means. And the Black's Law Dictionary there, fourth edition, is the one that's most uh, often referenced by legal researchers and uh, it is uh, a, well, as far as I'm concerned, the civil law dictionary dealing with civil law de definitions within civil law. If you're looking for common law de 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 dictionary definitions within the um, United States, that's the Bouvier's law dictionary, which is kind of ironic because Bouvier's is a French name, uh, but it deals with the common law definitions. So again, within the United States, the uh, laws are generally all dealt with in the civil law. Therefore, everybody's familiar with blacks because that's the, uh, that's the civil law dictionary. And uh, if you look in Bouvier's, uh, it's going to have different definitions of those uh, words and lacking definitions because uh, it's dealing with the common law. 
So which words do I use and the basics of legalese? Common law versus civil law versus admiralty law, etc. Admiralty law have their own dictionaries as well. So you have to decide, am I dealing with a common law issue, civil law dictionary, or a civil law issue? And you go to the appropriate dictionary. If you want to be in common law, make sure you use the common law terms. If you are trying to be in common law and you start using uh, civil law uh, terms, then you're going to sound like you want to be in civil law, and they're more than happy to deal with you there. So uh, the legal dictionary is which one? Again, whichever jurisdiction you want to be in, check it there and uh, confirm this all for yourself. And which word definition uh, wins? Well, it depends, again, who's there, which party is there. If you're claiming common law and you're recognized in that status, as you're in your common law status, your definition wins. But if you're in the civil law world, they get to pick which definition wins, depending on, I guess, who they want to win that particular day. So check out the downloads. Uh, there's a few things there for you with regards to legalese.